Hey, welcome to the blog. It's been uh, two weeks. So I thought I'd give you an update on what I've been working on. Um, I've really been pounding away on the airplane. And, uh, and then I, I got super busy the last week. Um, I also fly search and rescue for the sheriff's office, fly their 180. And uh, we had a couple of lengthy searches looking for um, a couple of people who ended up drowning in a local reservoir. And so there were some other flying cowboys that actually helped out, Mark Patey and a couple of other people that flew in between our flights and uh, sure appreciate them. Um, so let me show you what I've been doing because I've been hitting it pretty hard. I'm trying to get to the point where I'm ready to um, cover the fuselage so that I can kind of set it aside um, and then do some of the final things in it. But so I've been really pounding. So I'm gonna show you what I've been doing. So here's, Here's the airplane. So at first glance, you can kind of take a look and see where things are at. Um, so let me tell you what I've done. Um, I've run all my, run my rudder cables. I put my pulleys in. All my pulleys are in. All of my nylon bushings are in. Got my pulling in. Everything is just finger tight. I haven't set anything and fixed it in snug. It's just on where it's supposed to go. Um, Brakes, I think I showed you those are all in and then I've got cables attached. So the correct length of cable um, And those are all done So then also what I've done here I've got my brake in this is where I decided to do my brake So pretty cool. So let me show you right here. So I've got my my Matco parking brake in and got it all set up and you know, I've left my tag here a little longer just for once it goes in for the final time, I'll have a little bit more room to, to work with. But, you know, you can see everything's working smooth. And I decided to, to kind of go right here with it, and I'll show you from the front. I just felt like that was a good spot for it right there. And I'm, and, and I'm going to either put my fuel on-off switch right here, or I'm going to put it someplace else. But, but I felt like the parking brake, that's a good spot for it. You know, I really love how Steve Henry has his. Steve Henry has his parking brake right there on the flat handle. And so that's pretty cool. I love that. I debated on that. Um, and then I ended up going there for some reason. I don't know. So I've got my just loosely fitted. I've got my side coverings in on both sides. They're in. You can see I've got my tracks in. And i got my seats in. And so let me talk to you about the seats. Those were, um, that was an interesting, interesting little build. So with the seat, um, here's what I did first. The first thing I, I put in my, um, the nylon track. That was really easy. Just line them up and then you're going to mark where you're going to drill. I drilled my holes and then you countersink and then just put in those flush rivets. That goes really fast. That's pretty simple. The thing that you're going to find is, um, or I have, the powder coating was pretty tricky. Everything has to be reamed and that takes forever to ream it. And so you've got your reams, you're reaming everything out. You gotta, you know, I found that if I put just a titch of, of lubrication oil on there when I was reaming, it, it reamed it cleaner, then I could get it all out because now you have bare steel in there. Um, and then everything slides in nice and, and easy. Sorry, getting kind of close to my face. So, so those are all in. Here's what I did. I did something a little bit different. Let me show you. I ended up getting, I saw this on the forum and I loved the idea. So I, I bought some, I bought some steel and some alum, aluminum 3 8 um, rib nuts. And here's what I decided to do. So all of these are actually finger tight screws and there's a rib nut behind it. So, so that hole right there has a rib nut. And that's aluminum on aluminum. So I did aluminum right there that uh, goes in there. Then I took all of these, I took the sheet metal screws out and I actually did rib nuts underneath there. And the idea was they'll just, they, they look better. They don't pinch, they go in straight. I felt like it was a little bit better look 
I did rib nuts on my plate right here and then nylon washer so that even when the final covering is on, that just gives you, takes the vibration out at zero weight. In fact, super light, it looks cleaner. And I can take those rib nuts, those screws out really quick if I need to work on my parking brake or fuel line. So I've done that all the way through here. I also, on my battery tray, I did rib nuts as well. And, and, and so you, you drill out, you're basically gonna drill these out to fit a 3 8 um, steel or aluminum, whichever one you choose. And then um, that gives you the ability to remove that. So I can take this out, get my battery on it, get it adjusted right, put it back in, tighten it up, you know, add a little Loctite if needed. But that, I, I like that rib nut idea. And I saw that from Dennis on the Highlander forum. So great idea, Dennis, way to go, loved it. And uh, so there's that. So I've done, I've got these all in temporary. Seats are done. Um, got my seats all done, painted. I got them riveted in and they're all ready to go. You know, this takes a long time right here, this mechanism. Man, you're, you're gonna need to um, file with a hand file this piece down here so it's straight. It's kind of, mine were both welded on a little crooked so I had to flatten them out to give them a little bit straighter profile so the pin would go through so that this would work. This would go up and down when it was in the hole. So what I did is I actually, um, I marked my front hole, came all the way up. You mark your front hole. And then back here, you're gonna put on your, right here, you're gonna put your stop on, rivet top and bottom. And then I just slid my, my I went kind of one inch and just marked through that hole with a, with a pen where I wanted to put each one of those holes. Then I came, snapped them in and then drilled them. And then I found that if I used, you know, one of these, I could go nice and straight and slow and I drilled it out and then just made sure it was deburred and the pin goes in and out really nice on those. So that's pretty cool. So here, I'll show you right here. I've got this, this chair is ready to go. And you can see I've got the post in there. There's my stops, my knots and everything's ready to go. You're gonna have to do some shaping on the end. I did at least. Um, because right here, let me show you where it goes in. Sorry, I'm all over the place. Where this goes in, there's, there's an angle on that weld. And what happens too is these welds poke up. So the, um, the tube doesn't fit in straight. So you've gotta kinda of shave that bottom, angle it and shape it so it comes in nice and level so you can get a center right through there. So, and then, you know, obviously you're reaming all those out. So that worked out pretty good. That brings me to my next little piece, and that is I have one of my doors on, and I'm gonna do the other one tonight. So I've got my top door right here. So there's my, my top door, and as you can see, that bad boy comes up. Super pumped about that, the way it looks and fits. And my window, and then I just kind of have taped in place the strut, just measuring until I get the wing on. Um, everything's kind of just barely loosely put on. This is actually taped on so that I can then, you know, see, okay, where's this, where's this gonna end up, you know, in relation to the wing. It should just about touch the wing is what the manual says. Um, this, I'm gonna, I'll give you my advice on this. Here's what I did. I actually came over to my bench here I'll show you. I've got a piece of tape that I put right here. And then I did three inch marks. So I could lay my hinge down and then with my marking pen here, I could just mark each one. And then what I did is I laid a square on and I went right down the center of the hinge from the outer port part of the hinge to the hinge itself. And then I took my super fine pen scratcher with the straight edge, went right down the middle. Then I used my square to make it so that when I put the snap in place to punch it, um, you get a nice, clean, centered um, mark for your hinges. And that worked good for me um, because, man, there's not a lot of material to work with. And so go slow on that. Um, otherwise, you end up making some mistakes. So seats are in, rails are in, parking brake is in, brakes and turnbuckles are in, um, cables are all in, 
and I'm going to actually pull these are all in nice and loose. So I'm gonna, one last thing, tell me what you think of this. So I've got, I'm tinkering with the idea of doing a carbon post right here for my stick. And you know, this is steel down here and it's powder coated and clear coated. And then I'm clear coated on the inside of here. So I don't think I'm going to have any um, corrosion issues because it's not carbon on aluminum, it's carbon on steel. Um, comments, anybody on that, let me know. Um, but these were lighter, they're stronger, stiffer, they look sexy. Um, so that's, that's it, I'm trying to think. I think that's it on the, on the plane. So here's my plan for this week. I'm gonna get my other door on and Oh, and I also forgot, I did work on the, the elevator. I got the, uh, I put the trim plate and trim, um, trim, trim bar on. And then I also, I forgot, see, I've been, I've been working. Then I also, I've got my trim tab set right there and just click go in. And I decided not to go notch out. I just did two. And then they're kind of trimmed, they're all deburred. They all um, fit on the elevator and are ready to go. So my trim is all ready. And I actually, um, you know, did my elevator, put it on there, clamped it on, did all of that to get my trim ready. So there's my trim tab. That is ready to go. And then I've got the elevator over here just hanging up with my waders and, you know, it's all set. It's drilled on the other side. So, so that's, that's where I'm at. So I'm going to try to finish my door and get my door on. Just kind of temporarily mount the hinges to make sure, or the, the hydraulic arm, make sure that's on and set. Then I'm going to slide this over and I'm actually going to start on my wings this week. And I'm going to start putting in false ribs and all of that. So I'll show more of that. Um, it's a lot of work, man. I'm telling you what, I, what I found is there's got to read the manual several times and then go through and try to make sure you, you're going slow. I want to go too fast sometimes. I have made a couple mistakes that I've had to fix, but um, so far I'm pretty pumped. You know, both seats are in, good to go. I mean, I'm almost there on the fuselage. I mean, I'm, I'm sitting pretty right now. And I got to give a huge shout out to Theron Judd, who lives here in Orem, Utah. Theron, He's awesome. He just finished a Highlander with his son, Craig Judd. And Theron came over to my house and, uh, and kind of walked me through a few things that will speed me up on that he did on his Highlander. So big shout out to Theron. Dennis and his wife on the Highlander Facebook uh, page for always showing sweet pics and sweet stuff that really help, uh, um, help move me along. Several other people that have sent me pictures on... Um, on Facebook of really cool stuff that they've done to their Highlanders. You guys make it so much easier. And big shout out to Steve Henry, who is always willing to answer the phone, and Jack from um, from Just Aircraft. Those two, call them anytime and they'll answer. I feel bad, feel guilty calling them, but there it is. So that's where I'm at. My goal is October. Um, it's um, May, May 15th. And so I think if I just keep banging away at it, Maybe I make it, maybe I don't, but you know, I'm I'm right there. So that's kind of, I feel like I'm on schedule. Wings, I'm gonna start on this week, actually tomorrow, and just work my way through those. I'm gonna order my Oratex, um, and then start uh, kind of making the decision where I'm gonna go in terms of, of covering. I'm probably missing some stuff. So if I've missed some stuff and you're like, oh, you forgot to do this, Put it in the comments, please. As always, you guys rock. Thanks for the positive feedback and on the next one.